Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Cayenne and I'm so excited to have you. I make videos about lifestyle, my faith, thrifting, and just like everything in between. Lately, I've been making a ton of videos about wedding planning. Um, my wedding just passed last month, which, wait, whoa. Our one month anniversary is in like three days, so that's pretty crazy, but I'm just gonna keep rolling with the wedding stuff until I just like drain it to its completion because there are still a few more wedding videos that I wanted to make now that I've already been married. So today's video is gonna be all about what I have thrifted for our wedding. So I'm literally just gonna sit here and show you literally everything that I thrifted for our wedding. I didn't see many videos like this on YouTube, but the ones I did see were helpful to give me ideas. The style of our wedding was a little bit more on the boho side. However, you can use a lot of these things for any kind of style of wedding. I just hope that this gives you some ideas for your own wedding or maybe just like an upcoming party. And a lot of these things are great transition pieces to decorate our apartment. So that's really nice that I get to keep a lot of stuff to use around the apartment. So let's just get into the different categories. If you like these kinds of videos, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to stick around. I'm gonna take a sip of this water um, and just give you like three seconds in case you wanna subscribe. Okay, that's all I got for you. Let's move into the first category. <laughs> okay, the first category is picture frames. These are kind of obvious, but just wanted to show you the ones. So I found some of these, which were gold. And I mean, there's so many picture frames at Goodwill. So you can definitely find things that fit your um, decor and theme. This is actually my favorite one I thrifted. I just thought it was really unique and pretty. I will say one of my biggest Goodwill tips is to subscribe to their newsletter because they send out a monthly 20% off coupon. So any purchase, $20 or more, you can get 20% off. And I use the coupon multiple times a month. So from what I know, there's no limit to how many times you can go. So sometimes I'll go thrifting like four times a month and use that 20% off coupon and it saves us a ton of money. So would highly recommend that. The next category of things is vases. So I thrifted a ton of different vases and all had its own purpose. So I'm gonna show you these ones first. So ones like this, these were actually glass before and I just painted them um, this color here kind of gave it like a ceramic look. Um, in order to do that, you just take paint and mix it with like baking powder and it gives it that chalky look. This one's like a little run down. So I might have to touch that up. But as you can see, I use this kind of vase to um, put in these like dried flowers. These ones are from afloral.com. And just going along that theme, I have one like this, which is white. I found this one, which is a really cute shape. And like I said, all of these can be used after your wedding to decorate. Here is another vase that I painted and I just put these dried bunny tails in it. So definitely recommend thrifting some vases. Here is another vase that I really love and I actually use this as you can see to put all of our sparklers in for the sparkler exit. I also wanted to show you um, some vases that you could thrift for more so the tables. I think having vases on the tables just with like a little tiny dry flowers or for example, like something like this in the vase. We also use like these kind of dried flowers in them. So I think just having really small dainty vases throughout your tables can really add some more dimension to the decor and give it more height. So this was one I actually painted. It was glass before and I just painted it this really nice light like salmon color. Another vase that we used on the tables. I found two of these, some more. These ones both I painted. So that's one tip is you can like spray paint or hand paint almost anything at Goodwill. So just keep that in mind that all of these can be hand painted or spray painted to the colors of your choice. I'm serious when I say I thrifted a ton of vases. So here's some other small ones that we use on our tables. A couple more. So I liked actually having the variety instead of making everything look the same. It was nice to be able to thrift things that kind of added 
a more unique decor to each table. So yes, I would highly recommend thrifting decorative vases, but to go along with that, I also thrifted um, flower vases as well. So personally at our wedding, we did not do like flower arrangements, like centerpieces, um, but you can use these kinds of vases for your centerpieces. We actually just did like a fake garland and popped some real flowers in it and then did a table runner and then added in some of the vases and the dried flowers and things like that. But the reason why I thrifted these, I personally don't like the look of these vases and wouldn't use them, um, but you know, to each their own. I personally thrifted about six of these just to use for the bridesmaid bouquets um, to be able to soak in water. Since I was doing all the flowers on my own, if you're interested in watching that video, I have my DIY like bridal bouquet and DIY wedding flower video. I'll have it linked up here. Um, but yeah, that is why I thrifted these vases, but Goodwill has a ton of vases uh, and you can get them for like 99 cents each. Speaking of like glass vases, we can move in to the candles. So Goodwill has a ton of these kinds of vases. If I were to get these vases somewhere else, they would range from like $5 at Hobby Lobby. So I actually decided to thrift all of these vases at the thrift store. And most of the times I could get them for about 99 cents to $1.50. Um, another thing I did was thrift a ton of these candles. Lately, Goodwill has been like marking up these candles. I think they know brides are going there. So now some of these tall candles are selling for like $7 at Goodwill, which is just ridiculous. So if you can find a Goodwill that prices them at a good point, you can get these candles anywhere between like a dollar and $3 plus that 20% off. So I ended up thrifting about, I think 26 to 30 of these to put on tables and most of the candles in them are thrifted as well. However, if you guys are looking for a bunch of pillar candles, I would recommend going to the store at home. Um, that's where I ended up buying some, some more. Um, when I didn't have enough, when I couldn't find enough in the thrift store, I just went to at home to find the rest of the pillar candles. But I would highly recommend buying, you know, all of your vases from a thrift store. Okay, speaking of candles, that was another big thing that I thrifted. I thrifted as many candles as possible. For example, here is a bag of candles that we didn't end up using, but if you go to your thrift store, they have a ton of pillar candles, but they also have like some smaller candles too. I have had pretty good luck finding um, small candles like this, tea light candles, and also candles like this. Um, these ones actually came in a big box, so that's another recommendation is look in the candle section, make sure to look in the boxes cause you never know what's hiding in them. Um, I found just like a whole box of tea light candles um, and then a whole lot of, uh, what are these called? I forget what these are called, but anyway, candles, get your candles at the thrift store if you can. Um, you can get like, I think I got this whole pack for maybe like $2, so that was a good deal. Another kind of candles that I found at the thrift store were these ones. These are kind of like the amber colored glass that's very in right now. So I found a pack of like eight of these for maybe like $4. So definitely recommend checking out the candles every time you go. More candle related stuff. I also found unique candle holders. So they have a lot of like brass candle holders and we used these throughout our wedding. Just pop one of these in and it is a really um, pretty accent. But you can also find candle holders like this that are a little bit more like, I guess more modern, I would say. These were actually a dark wood color and I just painted them like I did with all my bases. I did find some cool wooden ones that I didn't have to paint. This one is really beautiful. And as you can see, it's just a candle holder. I found this one as well and it just has like a small spot to put a tea light candle in. And these are amazing because I can use these to decorate our apartment. These were actually from World Market. This was originally $8. I probably got it for like $2. Um, another unique way I kind of thrifted for candles was actually going to their glass cup section and finding goblet cups to hold tea light candles in. So I found this like beautiful glass one. I feel like these are really popular right now for like rental companies and they cost a ton to rent. 
or you can just go to the thrift store and find these and buy them for like a dollar each. So what we did was we bought probably um, at least 20 of these and put tea light candles and that way they could go throughout the tables um, and they paired nicely like sitting next to this just to add a little bit more decoration. I find just having this on the tables can be a little boring. So I wanted another way to display candles that was a little more exciting. So these glass cups like really went a long way when it came to decorating the tables. Here is another example of a glass cup we use. This one was a shorter cup. I also found glass cups like this. I don't know usually what these would be used for. Maybe like dessert. <laughs> I'm not really sure what people would have used these for in the past or to hold trinkets or whatever, but we use these for tea light candles as well. I also found quite a few brass candle holders. You just had to be careful. Sometimes I really overprice them. I probably wouldn't pay more than $5 for one of these. This one in particular was $3.50 um, and we use these throughout our wedding decor, but we also use these around the house. And here are just some more examples of different candle holders that you can find at the thrift store. Another amazing candle find was this one and it is um, kind of like a Beauty and the Beast <laughs> inspired, what are these called? I don't know what these are called, but a candlestick holder. And I really like this one and decided to use this as the main feature on our sweetheart table. And it was really beautiful on the table. It looked amazing. And I believe I got this for maybe like five to $7. More candle holders. This one was a brass candle holder and they have quite a few of these. Um, I would definitely recommend looking for the candle holders that actually have a tray underneath to catch the wax. Um, I know a lot of places do not allow open flames. Um, however, that's usually because they don't want the wax to get on the table. So if you maybe see if this is allowed where it catches the wax, one thing we did was lay a table runner down underneath any exposed candles and the wax just fell on the table runners. Okay, a miscellaneous thing that I got for our wedding was actually this basket and what we did was place a smaller bowl inside of it and this is what we used for our foot washing ceremony. For those of you who are asking, Kyle did wash my feet. I will put in proof now. Um, it's just the live stream was the camera overheated when he went. So he actually washed my feet first. But anyway, this is the basket we used, found it on, at Goodwill. Um, again, this is something you could easily use in your home after your wedding. Okay, and the last thing that I thrifted were these. It's kind of like a gold shell thing. There's a ton of like antique things like this at the thrift store. What we used this for was on our welcome table and we put the film for like the Polaroid cameras and set in here. Just like small little bowls and baskets can never hurt you. I mean, if you can find a cute way to store the film for, for the camera, um, and this is also something you can use throughout your house afterwards or resell. So I hope this video gave you some ideas on what you can thrift for your wedding. Uh, I know it was such a fun like experience to be able to thrift all of this stuff for my wedding and I highly encourage you to thrift instead of buying new. For one, it'll save you money. Um, it's fun and it cuts down a little bit on consumerism um, so you can kind of recycle all of these old things that people don't want. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up because it really supports my channel. Um, feel free to share it with a friend who's getting married soon. I love you all. If you guys have any video requests, please leave them in the comments. I do want to hear your ideas, especially non-wedding related videos. Let me know and I can start uploading um, some more of those. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and Jesus loves you more. Bye.